Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about what to do if you experience a chemical peel, burn, have a reaction or a complication when using the peels. Complications are rare when used correctly, but are still possible and special precautions should be taken. Our trained customer support team is here to help should you have any questions or concerns. You can email us at support at perfectimage.com and we will put you in touch with one of our professionals. You can also contact us through our live chat. Allergies or sensitivities do happen. It is best to practice to follow the instructions and safety precautions as closely as possible. Make sure to do a patch test prior to the peel at least one week before the full treatment. If an unexpected complication occurs, such as reaction to an ingredient, burn which can cause swelling, blisters, scaling, redness, much like a bad sunburn, then there are some steps you can take to prevent further complication and get back on the right track to healing. Make sure you have fully neutralized the peel with water or a baking soda mixture for 10 to 20 minutes. Afterward, you may apply a cool, damp cloth to the skin or use a cool compress to help calm inflamed or sensitive skin. An optional ice pack can also help reduce inflammation and pain. Make sure to rewash your skin with cooler water several times per day and apply an aloe vera gel or lotion. Drink an excess of water per day as the skin will need to be rehydrated from the inside out. Topical steroids such as hydrocortisone can help reduce the inflammation. Ibuprofen or over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications can also help reduce swelling. Make sure you avoid sun exposure as it will only worsen the burn. Pure aloe vera gel can be applied to help cool the skin and prevent further injury. Reapply throughout the day. Many physicians also suggest taking an over-the-counter antihistamine such as Claritin or Benadryl as well to help calm the response. Make sure you call 911 if the reaction is dramatic or the patient seems to be having trouble breathing. Follow up with your dermatologist if necessary. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed our videos. We'll see you next time.